हाय फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टू ऑरिजिट ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल शेयर करूँ लाइक करूँ कमेंट्स करूँ और अति अवश्य बेल आइकन क्लिक कर देवें सब किस नोटिफिकेशन पवार संगे थकूँ पशे थकूँ देखते थकूँ अरिजित अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल Welcome to Praxis Business School where theory meets action true to its name Praxis stands for the application of knowledge it's not just about learning concepts but about putting them into practice my name is Charanpreet Singh uh, I I was born and brought up in Kolkata I worked in the corporate world for 18 years in industries like cryogenics steel consulting IT and then in 2007 i co-founded praxis business school i have been associated with that for the last 17 years at praxis this principle drives everything making education real relevant and results oriented today the biggest shift the world faces is driven by data and technology praxis business school vision is to become a trusted and influential management education institution that is equipped to make a compelling difference to the business world and the community the words are carefully chosen an academic institution has to be trustworthy uh it has to be influential it has to influence and it has to influence both the business world and the community in which it thrives i won't say that praxis business school is completely different from other business schools there are several business schools in the eastern part of india and uh, in 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 all of india uh, who are doing a great job of creating uh, you know ready resources for the industry but there are two or three things that i think differentiate praxis from uh, several schools uh, one is that praxis was set up by people from the industry so that makes us more industry aware more industry ready more agile uh, we kind of uh, you know respond to uh, changing business environment changing technology i i think a little faster than most schools and uh, the students kind of uh, you know benefit from this because uh, we are very tech and data driven and uh, we are a little ahead of other schools in making the entire curriculum ai ready analytics ready data science ready uh, so that students are prepared to walk into the digital world and become leaders that transform india the journey has been very interesting uh, you know uh, we set up praxis business school because we had uh, the passion to kind of create a business school which is uh, you know im impactful and uh, we were all working in the corporate world uh, so this was not something that uh, we did because we had to but because we wanted to we were part of discussions uh, where people said that you know academic institutions don't prepare people from the industry so there are two ways to do that one is you keep complaining and the other is you do something about it so a bunch of us decided to do something about it and we said that let's create an institution which which kind of bridges the gap between the industry and uh, the academia we are living in the age of software seamlessly integrated into our lives changing how we live work and decide this digital revolution has transformed industries created new ones and redefined how business is done startups are booming traditional businesses are being reshaped and a new kind of professional is in demand one who understands both business fundamentals and the digital landscape uh i was born in kolkata uh, and i spent all my schooling years in kolkata uh i was born of uh, sikh parents to a refugees from uh, pakistan uh, i was a shy and uh, self-conscious uh, kind of a child but uh, i was uh, pretty good at academics i i studied at south point school uh, i did well throughout school i topped the school in uh, higher secondary i got a uh, state rank of 7 uh, and and that kind of instilled in me some confidence and then i went to kanpur to do my uh, btech in, in mechanical engineering so i have very fond memories uh, of listening to radio cricket commentary hockey commentary because there was no tv 
that uh, childhood uh, you know kind of uh, helped me understand the value of relationships uh, the value of trusting each other uh, the value of uh, collaboration and i think that has struck uh, through life uh, i am married to anuradha purushottam bagadde uh, she is a ca by profession and uh, uh, works in a in an organization managing their finance and systems uh, i have one child tejas singh who works in uh, seattle he works for a company called the mitley uh, he went there as an undergraduate student did his bsc in computer science at cornell and uh, and has stayed back there and he's married to any uh, who's a taiwanese american so i'm a sikh a uh, punjabi sikh my wife is a maharashtrian my son is born and brought up in bengal and he is married an american taiwanese so we are a pretty global family and uh, i'm happy and and i think it's it's fun management education has evolved over a century but its essence remains understanding resources managing risks analyzing the environment and leading with clarity now technology is a core resource at praxis students are trained to master it praxis is building digital leaders the focus cutting edge management education combined with deep awareness of ethics and the human side of business uh, well when we started the aict uh, approved program we got a permission to start a batch of 60 and today we have uh, uh, the permission or the approval to host 180 students per batch uh, so at this point in time our capacity for the pgdm program is 180 students per batch we are rapidly moving towards an ai driven world uh, the kind of progress uh, that ai and and especially gen ai has made in the last couple of years is is just overwhelming so i think that uh, you know india is one of the countries that can make a huge difference because we have very smart people praxis uh, you know uh, we are the objective of the pgdm program is to create ai ready uh, leaders for the digital world so uh, you know and we we have already always been on the forefront of tech and data in our uh, education in our curriculum and it impacts not just curriculum design but also curriculum delivery and also assessment uh, so we were the first in the country to start a full time program in business analytics way back in 2011 we now run a, a full time program as part of praxis tech school which is another group uh, academy which is one of the top uh, programs in the country and for the pgdm program we use uh, ai in several ways one is that you know we have courses in fundamentals of data science in gen ai specifically making students ai literate we also use ai as part of every functional course like you know marketing or finance or or organizational behavior or supply chain you know there are components of ai there's component they, they are all data driven all technology driven so that the student doesn't look at ai as a separate subject but looks at ai as an integral part of whatever the student is going to do when he, he or she joins the industry the learning environment encourages curiosity debate innovation and entrepreneurial energy with rigorous academics a hands-on learning model and a dedicated faculty praxis has become a trusted talent hub for the industry i would suggest that remember that knowledge and skills are what are going to make your life so spend time and focus on learning uh you know make knowledge and skills your strengths uh that is going to help you throughout your life and you have to be a lifelong learner because change is going to keep on happening at the speed it is happening today or even faster so what you learn today may not be re relevant tomorrow so you have to become better learners you have to uh, you know kind of imbibe this whole culture of learning students find opportunities across sectors from finance and consulting to tech fmcg and logistics and across functions like analytics marketing operations hr and more outcomes are always important because you invest more than money you invest two years two very important years of your life with the b school so obviously outcomes are very important for you and uh, so you know we believe in 
finding opportunities that suit student skills and knowledge. So we have several dreams and you know, I, I, I mentioned two or three. One is we need to become more global, uh, both in our pedagogy, in our collaborations, in our accreditation and our uh, recognition. So that is one dream I have uh, and, and my colleagues have. The second is that, uh, you know, we need to also participate in this entire startup uh, revolution that India is going through to set up a very effective and impactful uh, incubation center for entrepreneurs, especially in the areas of uh, AI and semiconductors and, and the management and business uh, related to that. And the third would be, you know, uh, education, uh, the, the, the real objective is education is to improve the quality of lives of people. So can we set up, we already do a little bit of that. We do digital literacy programs and stuff like that. But can we set up a center for outreach, uh, for making, you know, AI skills, digital skills and other skills, which are going to become important uh, life skills in future. Can we have a, a, a large presence in helping communities to enrich themselves, to, to educate themselves with these skills? So these are the three, three things I would like to see Praxis doing really well uh, in the next five years. Praxis alumni are making their mark in cities across India, contributing to growth and innovation in every field. This is proud of its alumni, uh, the kind of work they have done, the kind of reputation they have built. We have so much of repeat purchase. Companies co keep coming back to us because our alumni have done so brilliantly well. So it's very difficult to pick a few names and, and, and you know, I feel it's unfair to the others, but since I have to, I, I, you know, I will talk about maybe three or four of them. Starting with our first batch, uh, you know, uh, there's Puneet Nagpal, who graduated in 2009, which was our first batch. Uh, and then uh, we have Uma Balakrishnan, who is the lead corporate communications India and South Asia for Visa. And then we have Buddhaditya Banerjee, Vice President, Client Delivery for Accenture. And Sunaina Datta, Insights and Intelligence Manager, Bernard Richard, London. So we have, you know, have, you know we, are, we are proud of all our alumni and, and uh, you know, there are so many others who are doing equally great work. And I think any educational institute is eventually known by the quality and success of its alumni. And as I said before, I think Praxis Business School is very lucky. And at the heart of it all is the beautiful Praxis campus, a quiet, inspiring space in Kolkata, the vibrant city of joy. You know, we all know that the original purpose of education is to improve the quality of lives of people. So if that has to happen, I think two or three things need to, need to be inculcated in the students of uh, tomorrow. Uh, one of them is ethical and responsible use of AI. Because AI, although it, it really promises a lot, it also brings with it, with it a lot of things that could damage the world. So, you know, whenever we are working with AI, I think part of AI literacy for all students is how do we use AI in a transparent, ethical and responsible way. So that is one thing which I think is going to be very important. The second thing is this entire, you know, uh, entire ecosystem uh, uh, about sustainability. You know, we are, we've damaged the environment enough. We need to, you know, kind of go back and, and look at ourselves and look at environment as, as, as something which is critical to our lives. And so this whole story around ESG, sustainability, societal and governance uh, values, I think this is going to be very important and there are going to be these, this knowledge and skills are going to be critical to, to success. And I, and, and I think rightly so, because the world needs them. Praxis Business School thanks its students, alumni, faculty and staff, the community that brings the vision to life. And it looks forward to welcoming the next generation of thinkers, doers and leaders. Mm -hmm.